welcome and welcome back to your girl's channel it's the girl Lika. so in this video i will be sharing five companies that are hiring people globally for either part-time or full-time work i'll basically discuss the type of job it is the roles and responsibilities how much you will get paid and the qualifications you may or may not need to get into them <laughs> So the first company is Smith AI. Now Smith AI, they are seeking virtual receptionists. So virtual receptionists would answer calls, answer live chats, make appointments, and answer customer queries. So basically, you would be operating as if you were an actual receptionist working in an office. Now to be selected, you must have a strong typing skills. So I believe that would be around 40 words or up per minute strong internet connection, able to work flexible, and also you must know how to speak proper English. In addition to that, you must have a laptop because you'll need to run some tests on your laptop to show that yes, your laptop is up to date and you have all the requirements that they are. So basically like um, hardware kind, I've shown you how to do that in previous videos, but you know, they will basically tell you what and what they need to see on your laptop in the settings. So on the website, they state that some applicants have to do a background check, but since we are outside of the US, that does not apply to us. And they are paying us who work outside of the US a starting rate of 11 US dollars and they also have other benefits that we can profit from. So if you're watching this video from your phone, then you can just switch over to your laptop and you can go onto Smith AI, scroll down to the bottom of their page, you'll see company. All you need to do is click on company and you'll see the option that says career and you will be able to just go ahead and apply to become a virtual receptionist. Now guys, before I move on, I just want to let you know, I do not have experience with these companies I just went out of my way to find companies that can be applied to if you are Jamaican basically from the Caribbean or just from one of those countries who find it very difficult to get a job online because of all the country restrictions so please make note of that now the second company is literally and a lot of you have seen literally on my channel I'm just going to you know bring it back into this video because i know that some people may not have seen it so literally you will be a transcriber and you'll be transcribing um audios for mostly small children now literally they are in the season where they get a lot of customers so if you want to become a transcriptionist this is the best time for you to go and apply now in order to get through you'll be you will be asked to do a transcription test and you will need to transcribe six audios and getting hired is a strictly performance based, meaning that where you are from is not important. Whether or not you have experience or not is not important. If you have a good resume, it's not important either. None of that is important. It is strictly how you performed on transcribing those audios. On their platform, they stated that you can make $10 an hour. I'm not certain if they mean per hour or per audio hour so you can go ahead and just look into that but yes they stated that as well so that means for all the people who absolutely love typing what they hear and that good stuff please go ahead and apply to literally so the third company they are seeking inbox managers now this one is my favorite because you don't need to have any skills, any experience, no resume, no cover letter, nothing like that. An inbox manager is somebody who is assigned to a client and completes tasks for that client. Now this company, it is strictly long term. If you're looking something like a full time job altogether, then you'll be able to make a lot of money over time with this company. The application is filled with a lot of um, long questions i'm going to be honest with you when i checked the application the questions were extremely long and you will basically need to answer those questions with your soft skills so a lot of common sense and empathy at the same time to answer them now if you succeed in the application process you'll proceed to do a zoom interview and also 
you'll need to do a 30-day paid training. So I can definitely understand that because their customers are businesses, not just one person. Their customers are businesses and that would require a level of confidentiality from their inbox managers. Remember, you don't need to have an experience. You don't need a probability. You don't need a resume. They just, they just give you what they need. So go ahead and apply. And the name of that company is Inbox Done, if I had not mentioned it, did I? And guys, if you're really enjoying this video so far, please go ahead and smash the like button because it will help the algorithm to push out my video. Now the third company, they are seeking customer support specialists. And the name of that company is First Promoter. So this is basically BPO and they require that you have at least two years experience in a position that you help customers in some form of way. So whether you were a sales rep, a customer service rep, admin assistant, um, do data entry clerks, um, basically whichever kind of position that you were, that you were able to help some customers to do this, that, or just interacting with customers for the most part. Now, if you are working in a position and you are not sure if, you know, this is basically what they are asking for, all you need to do is to explain your roles and responsibilities for that job in a way that matches the interpersonal skills that they are asking for. So for example, you probably were an accountant or something like that. So if you had dealt with customers at some point, I'm not telling you to lie, I'm not telling you to do that, but you basically just need to explain those roles in a way that said, yes, I assisted the customers with getting their this, that to be done properly and just in a way that ensures that you have a good chance of getting through. So they show some um, interpersonal skills that they'll basically require you to have so you can just look on that on their website and go ahead and um, use some when you're explaining yourself. From my perspective, the roles and responsibilities seem manageable. Yeah, yeah, they seem manageable. Now, when you're applying, you'll need to submit a resume, a cover letter, and your desired salary. I hate it when they do that, but yes, they do that. They don't disclose how much they will be offering you. They ask you, how much you're expecting to get paid. Now, I tried to search for an average online to see how much they were actually paying people, but I couldn't find an average at all. So, um, but you'd know that the average BPO pays people outside of the US around $10 to $16, somewhere thereabout. Yes, yeah, somewhere thereabout. So you can go ahead and um, if you'd like, you can go ahead and choose a desired salary between $10 to $16. So another company, it's called My Plaza or My Academy. So they're an educational website for elementary to high school level children. And they're seeking remote customer service agents for online live chats, answering emails and phone calls and responding to customers on social media now the skills needed are mostly soft skills yes guys whenever you're applying to um customer service um jobs just know that most of the time it you're you'll just need a lot of um soft skills so when you're writing your resume and that please emphasize on the soft skills that you have and you'll also need one year um, experience in a customer service role. So like previously, as I said, like for example, as a sales rep, admin assistant, anything like that, where you were dealing with customers. So at least one year experience. So for other people who would type well, I think this is a good opportunity for you. So this is a full-time job and they offer both morning and evening shifts. And on average, you'll do about 20 to 40 hours per week um, chatting with customers. They offer paid time off. You'll be able to work flexibly and they pay 16 to 22 US dollars per hour. They also require doing a background check so you can look forward to doing something like that. They'll basically tell you what they need. So don't freak out. 
So that's a wrap guys. Thank you for watching. Please do go ahead and subscribe if you haven't. Smash that like video. Share to a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. Thanks again. Bye.